Mechanism of Action of SMAD7 Inhibitors A particular aspect of IBD-related diseases is the combination of a sustained barrage of tissue-damaging inflammation combined with the inhibition of anti-inflammatory mechanisms that would ordinarily serve to prevent gut mucosal injury. In patients with IBD, such as Crohn's disease or CD, the anti-inflammatory activity of the immunosuppressive cytokine transforming growth factor beta-1, or TGF-beta-1, is reduced, due in part at least, to high levels of the intracellular protein SMAD7, an inhibitor of TGF-beta-1 signaling. A number of polymorphisms within the TGF-beta-1 signaling pathway are associated with increased risk of developing IBD. Physiologically, TGF-beta-1 signaling inhibits T-cell proliferation and differentiation and also reduces macrophage activation and dendritic cell maturation. TGF-beta-1 plays a critical regulatory role in IBD pathogenesis. Normally, physiologically active TGF-beta-1 binds to the TGF-beta receptor subunit 2, or TGF-beta-1R2, leading to the phosphorylation and activation of TGF-beta receptor subunit 1, or TGF-beta-1R1. This in turn results in SMAD2 and SMAD3 phosphorylation and their subsequent interaction with SMAD4. Next, the SMAD23-SMAD4 complex translocates to the nucleus, where it suppresses the transcription of pro-inflammatory genes. Patients with IBD exhibit a defective TGF-beta-1-associated SMAD signaling mechanism due to excessive uncontrolled levels of SMAD7. SMAD7 binds to TGF-beta-1-R1 and prevents phosphorylation of SMAD2 and SMAD3. The resulting downstream effect is the suppression of TGF-beta-1-driven counter-regulatory pathways. Thus, inflammatory gene expression is amplified and contributes to an excessive inflammatory response in patients with IBD-related diseases like Crohn's disease. Consequently, SMAD7 is a potential target for suppression of IBD-associated inflammation. Indeed, an oral antisense oligonucleotide targeting SMAD7 can be used to degrade SMAD7 messenger RNA and thereby decrease overexpressed levels of SMAD7 protein. The use of SMAD7 inhibitors aims to restore regular TGF-beta-1 signaling and re-establish its downstream anti-inflammatory response, thus reducing disease activity in Crohn's disease.